I would like to acknowledge the Chinook Castle and the land where we meet today, the Turbo and Jaguar people. I would also like to pay my respects to all elders past, present and future for they hold the memories, hopes and traditions for all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. I also like to extend that respect to any Indigenous people present today. Good morning, Cav Road, and welcome to our week seven whole school assembly. It's been a really busy um, number of weeks at Cav as we start getting towards the end of the year. Lots of celebrations and acknowledgements going on. In this video this week, um, we'll be recognising um, Shreyas, who has won an International Education Perfect Language Award. We'll be hearing about the fantastic Year 10 Business Market Day event. And you'll also get to meet our new junior leaders for 2021. Hi, Amira, and I'm Ava, and we are the 2020 Junior Cultural and International Leaders. Today we are talking with Shreyas about his recent involvement in a worldwide language competition. Shreyas, can you tell us what the competition was? Well, the competition was basically a uh, worldwide languages competition. It ranged from simple phrases to complex sentences and chosen languages. What language did you do and was it challenging? The language that I participated in was German. And yes, at times it was challenging, but I had to persevere through knowing that I won't be prepared if I keep going. Um, how do you enter the competition? So to enter the competition, there in Education Perfect, there's a tab, tab called the competitions. And under, the, under that tab, there's a list of competitions for you to participate in. How many points do you need to achieve the Elite Award? To get an Elite Award, you need at least 10,000 points. We would like to congratulate you on receiving the Elite Award. Shreyas came 10th out of 2,500 students who competed. Thank you for joining us today. Congratulations, Shreyas. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Week 7. Week 7 is a huge week for, for many students at our school. This week we have our award ceremonies on, on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, year 12s have a, a very special award ceremony on Tuesday during, on Wednesday, sorry, on Wednesday period two, uh, because it's their final award ceremony for their, their time at our school, with many special awards being presented and subject awards for those students who are top of subjects. Year 12s are now into their final week. They had their formal on Friday night, and, uh, and we hope that you had a fantastic time at your Year 12 formal. They have their last assessment item on, on Tuesday, so congratulations to, to everyone who worked really hard and finished your assessment this week, uh, and, uh, and I'm sure you're looking forward to those last exams. Year 12s return to school on Wednesday and have a fairly normal Wednesday at, at school. Thursday morning, we're going to have an extended peer support. So instead of the normal 10 minutes of peer support on Thursday morning, it will continue until after 9 o'clock. So to give PS the opportunity to say farewell. So to give you and your teachers the opportunity to say farewell to your Year 12 uh, friends in your PS uh, on that last, last day that they'll attend. Then Friday is graduation ceremony. The last day Year 12s will come to school. Uh, the last day that they will then walk out of the, the school gate as Year 12 Cavendish Road State High School students. So that's a huge day for them and uh, we will be running a graduation ceremony that will be uh, a wonderful celebration for them. Uh, the Year 12s will be in the Performing Arts Centre for the ceremony and parents have been, have been invited to go to the Sports Centre where we'll be live streaming into the, into the Sports Centre. At the end of the event, the Year 12s will exit the Performing Arts Centre and go down and through the, the, the Sports Centre, allowing mums and dads to, to congratulate them. Junior students in our school will know that there's a wonderful opportunity coming up for them at the end of this year. Um, as an acknowledgement of the incredible Cavrodian behaviour and effort showed by our junior students, Miss Lamore, with the help of many staff and with the incredible support of our PNC, has organised um, a celebration uh, excursion to Wet n Wild for all of our Year 7, 8 and 9 students. It's such a great re reward for students in what's been um, one of the hardest years of, of schooling we could possibly have had. So I really encourage you all to ensure that you are maintaining those really high um, standards of
courtesy, consideration, cooperation, commitment and challenge to make sure that you have that chance to visit Wet n Wild in the last few weeks. So thank you to Miss Lamore and the staff that helped her and um, thanks so much to our PNC for the financial contribution to make this event possible. Hi, my name's Cameron Bray and this is Sam Flannery and we are your 2021 junior school leaders. Our goal for next year is to listen to the concerns and desires of junior coverage students and pass this on to the school. Hi, I'm Amel. And I'm Harry. And, and we, we are, are your junior, junior vice, vice captains for 2021. Something about me is that I enjoy playing sports. And something about me is that I enjoy playing baseball. One of our aims for next year is to incorporate free dress days to help support the local charities in and around Cab Road. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Sophie. And I'm Joshua. And we're your 2021 Junior Art Prefects. My interests include music, creative writing and drama. Some interests that I have is netball. Our goal is to let you express yourself through the arts. Thank you for listening and we hope you have a good week. Have a good week, Cav. Hi, I'm Phoebe. Hi, I'm Cassidy. And we're your 2021 Junior Community Captains. We can't wait to help with fundraisers and organising events. Hi, I'm Will. And I'm Noya, and we're your 2021 Junior STEM Captains. 2020 has been an unprecedented year for all of us, and we are looking forward to, in 2021, representing you and making STEM enjoyable. This week, Girl Tech Day is happening up until the 28th of November. Be sure to join in and participate in this great opportunity. Thank you and enjoy your day. Hi, my name is William, and that is Matilda, and we are your 2021 Sport Captains. Today we're here with Sasha and Chloe, who recently won gold at the Regional Basketball Competition. How many teams competed in this competition? There are 11 teams, including us, which played over a span of four days. How did you guys go throughout the comp? We won 10 games out of the way. Who did you guys play in the grand final and how did you go? We won 31 to 30 in an intense battle with the person Peninsula. How did you guys feel winning this medal? It was a very big achievement and everyone was so proud. Hi everyone, my name is Joey and this is Kira and we'll be your junior international cultural leaders for 2021. One thing that I enjoy doing is playing piano. And one thing I enjoy doing is playing volleyball. In 2021, we look forward to organizing activities that celebrate international events, such as an International Food Day. Thank you. Hi, my name is Zali Soda. And I'm Trinity Oxenham. And we are your junior indigenous leaders for 2021. Our goal for 2021 is to spend more knowledge about our culture to other fellow students and to encourage more students to join the Indigenous groups. We both enjoy participating in the Beyond Bunker program because we like to learn about our culture and our ancestors. As you may have heard, last week was NAIDOC week, but we moved its activities to this week so that we can share it with the Year 12. Some activities that will be taking place this week include the Indigenous Award Ceremony, which will be going ahead on Monday morning, as many Indigenous and Torres Strait Islander students will be receiving awards for their achievements. Another significant activity is taking place will be the opening of the Reconciliation Room. The last activity that will be taking place is a massive game of origin between the teachers and students. We are looking forward to becoming your junior leader for 2021. No doubt last week you will have seen across the media um, the celebrations for NAIDOC week. This week, week seven, Cav Road is going to be celebrating NAIDOC week so that we can have our year 12 students involved in our activities and events. It begins today with um, our annual Indigenous Awards event. We get the opportunity to recognise our Indigenous Cav Rodians in the areas of attendance, encouragement, sport, community, academic and leadership. Last week, Mr. Usher spoke to you about the um, beautiful piece of artwork that's been created and inspired by the stories of our Cavrodian Indigenous students. It's only fitting that today is the day that that artwork is going to be hung in our reconciliation room as part of our awards event. This uh, piece of artwork is actually the first in what will become a series and they will um, continue to grow in our reconciliation room over the years and tell the beautiful story of our um, Indigenous students here at Cav Road. I would really encourage you to participate in the NAIDOC Week activities this week. Um, I would highly encourage you to get on the web and have a look at um, sites like ABC and SBS have got some fantastic resources. You would know every time we hear our acknowledgement of country that we are on Yagara country. 
Um, something interesting I found out during NAIDOC week was that a really common Yagara word is the word yakka. Um, you would have heard the phrase hard yakka, meaning hard work. Well, that's come from um, the Yagara language. And I really encourage you to take the time this week to um, find out some new and interesting information about our country and the Indigenous culture. Later on in this video, you'll hear from our new 2021 school vice captains, Jade and Cohen. And one of the things that they are going to talk about is your final assessment over these last couple of weeks to, to support each other, seek help where you need and keep working hard to the finish line. It's not too far away. One of my favourite sports people from recent years is, is Sally Pearson, who won at the 2012 uh, London Olympics in the hurdles. And one of, one of her quotes, which I really like, which I have pinned to my wall just down here, is, uh, I didn't come this far just to come this far. So we're in week 37 of the school year with only a couple of school weeks left. Don't come, don't work hard for the first 37 weeks and let yourself down over the last couple of weeks. Keep working hard over, the, over these last two weeks. Speak to your teachers when you, when you get stuck. Seek support if you, if you need it in any situation and then the finish line is almost there. So week seven is a, is a big one for, particularly for our year 12s and we look forward to celebrating with them this Friday for their, their graduation ceremony. Have a great week, everyone. Good day, guys. I'm Colin, and with me is Dave, and we're your 2021 school vice captains. We couldn't be any more happier taking up this role for next year. We hope to make sure that 2021 will be a mean year and that it will be definitely be a year to remember. For 2021, we want it to be a great recovery year. We can leave 2020 in the past and hopefully the restrictions will be further lifted and then we can have more of a good time. So because of COVID, we couldn't really do much and run any events. However, for next year, we are aiming to run all these events and to make sure that they're enjoyed by everybody. So yeah, get involved. We are really keen. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I know Remembrance Day has just passed, but I would love to continue to ask you guys to continue to remember all the members of the armed forces forces who have fallen. Remembrance of the Fallen does not just finish on a specific day, but it should continue throughout our daily lives. And as we may all know by hearing it through the notices from the 8th to 15th of this month, it is our nation's NAIDOC week. NAIDOC is the celebration of, of the history, culture and achievements of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities. And with that, I would also like us not to just let the celebration go past without any recognition. To this day, we still give our acknowledgement to country and recognise that the history of our land did not start with European settlement. So additionally, we wanted to wish everybody the very best on all their exams and upcoming events. Keep going, keep supporting each other, talk to your mates or a trusted adult if you need support. We are so close to the finish line. We would also love to say big congratulations to Jessica Yu and Kashi Palmer. Both students have been accepted into a very prestigious QUT physics program that occurs over the summer holidays. Here they are to tell you a little bit more about this amazing achievement. Hi, I'm Kashti. And I'm Jess. And we're both in year 11. So um, on the holidays, we're going to be doing like a two-week two um, intensive unit of a physics course. And basically, we're going to be doing some pracs, writing some reports, learning um, things about like atoms. And I really wanted to do it because I'm thinking of doing engineering when I'm older. So, yeah, Jess? Yeah, and it's free because the school's paying for it. And uh, it's something to do on our eight week holidays and stuff like that. So two Mondays ago was market day. Thank you for everyone who came on down and showed their support to the Year 10 business classes. It was a major success for all of us. Hi, I'm Mrs Nugent. I'm Mrs Nielsen. And on Monday the 2nd of November, our Certificate 3 in Business Prep students ran one of the most successful market days we've ever seen, resulting in a profit for all of our students. Students spent the past semester preparing for market day by first learning about the fundamentals of establishing a business. Once they had the knowledge, they dived right in, beginning with a partnership agreement, followed swiftly by two business proposals. Once their product was agreed to, they applied for their preferred business name. They conducted market research and a SWOT analysis whilst developing their business plan, logo, packaging, business stationery and marketing strategy. 
A prototype was submitted and the final recipe and packaging agreed to. They then carefully considered their costings to arrive at a selling price. Prior to market day, students advertised their products and made many pre-sales while developing a design for their store. Students contributed the funds to buy the ingredients and spent the day before market day in an epic bake fest where they made and packaged many batches of their products whilst following OHS procedures. When the big day arrived, they set up their beautiful stalls and dressed to attract the crowds to their stands. They had mystery shoppers, both students and teachers, to assess their stall and customer service. Students ran a brilliant market day with most groups selling out of their wares. Once all the expenses were covered, students walked away with between $20 and $50 each from their sales. Not at all bad for a class assignment. We're so proud of them. Hey guys, Zach and Levi here back with your weekly sport report. So earlier this week on Wednesday afternoon, there was the first annual Cav Carmel AFL Cup. Here's how it went. The Open Girls team absolutely decimated Carmel College, winning by 42 to 7. That is a slaughter. And the boys had a very tight game, 39 to 24, come out with a win for both teams. A special thanks to all the teachers who came down and supported, and a huge thanks to Mr. Rudder for organising this. We couldn't have played without you. Thanks, Rudd Dog. Thank you. That's exactly what we were after. We executed as we had planned. Okay, we did an awesome job defensively, as solid as a rock. They kicked seven points in the whole game. Okay, you did an awesome job. Make sure you thank the year 12s. Find yourself through these forwards here. Our forwards are going to need to come back, okay? Come back a bit and start to make it hard for them to just be able to run through lines. Defensively. Now, you're doing a really good job. Across our sort of half 50, a little bit towards midfield, where we actually have opportunity to get it to the other side of the field. That only works though if you hit your targets. It's on, but we, we probably nearly turned it over twice. It doesn't work, turned over. Don't be afraid to go a little bit deeper. Control the ball, move it to the other side, because we've got this, the outside speed to time. Oh! oh. oh. Wednesday was Remembrance Day. Thank you for everyone who participated in the One Minute of Silence as it is a great way to reflect on all the sacrifices made to ensure our freedom here today. 
as this is our final parade uh, for the whole school for the year, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank Ms McFarlane, who's behind the camera as we speak, for the amount of time she spent filming, editing, to make these parades um, still possible in what's been a very unusual year. Also like to acknowledge all the hard work of all of our staff this year. It's been a challenging year in a number of respects. First of all, of course, the COVID across the year, but also this being the first year of our new Year 12 system, where our teachers have worked incredibly hard to, to support our, our Year 12 students and to help them do the best we can. So thank you to all of our teaching staff, uh, all of our support staff and office staff, uh, all of the heads of department for all your hard and clever work across the year, uh, all of our deputy principals for supporting all of our students across our school year, all of our deans for the hard work that you do with our, with our students. So thank you to, to all of those people for uh, an amazing 2020. And finally, congratulations to all of you, the students of Cav Road. In what's been a very difficult year, you've demonstrated such resilience and growth in the face of some incredible challenges. So congratulations and well done. And we wish all of our students and all of our staff a fantastic holidays that are coming up, coming up very soon. You've certainly deserved a, a lovely break and then we look forward to seeing you again in 2021 in, at the end of January. Have a good holiday, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.